Hello to all of my Aquarius. Aquarius, let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Aquarius, let's go. Let's go, Aquarius, let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, Aquarius. All right, all right, all right. That total solar eclipse portal is wide open, right? So it's open. And so you have to decide what the new you look like, what the super new you, the reset you looks like, right? So we already had one eclipse so far this year, March 25th on the full moon that we had in Libra, right? Libra would be the scales of justice. So you committed to yourselves. By the time we got to the full moon, you're no longer doing any more injustices to yourself. When you made a promise to the new you, when we started out in that new moon in Pisces, right? If you believe that something is going to be an injustice to you down the down the line where you're carrying other people's emotional baggage, you're saying you're not committed to carrying baggage. You're holding space. That's not a problem. But to hold their emotional baggage, no matter how far back it goes, when you go back and think about how much baggage you've held other people, their insecurities, their doubts, their fears, their whatever, secrets, illusions, whatever, you start to remember how... No matter how much time and effort you put into holding other people's emotional baggage, how that can backfire. It almost it creates a codependency. So, all right now. So the super new you is not doing that. The super new you is not doing that. It definitely is going to feel like the first sign of like the the first day of spring for somebody. It's going to feel like a new year. And I know we had a we had a um we had the spring equinox right, but for you it's going to feel like a it's going to feel like a spring equinox all over again. Just like really, it's going to feel like it's just revved up for you all. So, all right, let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. The new you, the super new you, super new you, super new you, super new you, right? I've already prayed over your cards. The energy has already been cleared, Aquarius. Uh, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Where we ask God for clarity, most high God for clarity in every area of your lives, your personal, professional lives. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you're cruising on through, I appreciate all the love. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Aquarius. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Here we also have the Lover's card. The Two of Wands, here we also have the Ten of Swords, here we have the Eight of Swords, and also the Emperor card, right? So, we have the Lover's card here. We have the Emperor card here, right? We have the Nine of Wands, right? We also have the Two of Wands. Like I said, this, I mean, this speaks perfectly to what I was just saying. We also have Two of Wands, here we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Eight of Swords, right? So, yeah. So it is a form of self-sabotage when you're an overgiver because you almost like, okay, why can't people see my heart? Why can't they see, you know, how much I'm inspiring, adding clarity? You can literally write a person's business plan and they can sit there and let it collect dust and get mad at you because they're afraid of putting one foot in front of the other. So for some kind of, you got some kind of partnership in business and partnership in love that's trying to come in, you know, um, Aquarius. And so you already come through. Here's the nine of wands, right? So you're definitely not going back and source is inspiring you to move forward. So in order for you to get to nine, you've gone through the light and dark side of one through eight already, right? So if you were to go back, you put yourself all the way at the dark side of the number two, which is I got to stay connected to energies that's disrupting my peace, right? So peace, the number two, means your peace is paramount for you to get all the way to the number nine and look back and say, gosh, I'm going back to that same. I'm going back to my old ways of, um, I got to go back and I got to go back through a wilderness situation to save people because they don't have the best ideas about, you know, themselves and they don't think they can do it. Sources say you would be putting yourself on the dark side of the number two, right? So you're continuing to move forward. And again, people already know that, Okay, let me see how I can word this. For some of you all, people already know that that's the end. Number nine is the end of the single digits. It's a death rebirth number, right? So the light side of the number nine is your clairvoyance and your psychic abilities have increased. So you said, okay, I have faith in source that everybody who is still in the wilderness situation of fear, doubt, uncertainty, whatever, they're going to be fine. They're going to be just fine, right? 
That's me. But they may be on the dark side of the number nine, tyrannical, you know, egotistical, mad, cussing you out because you are not going to help. You're not going to, you're not going to invest in their, their business. You're not going to, you're not going to, you know, they, you're not going to hang around and wait for them to come into the light. They're going to call you impatient, all kinds of stuff. So it's two types of energies. One is going to almost feel defeated. One is going to almost feel defeated. They've already committed to, well, you know, I guess this is what it is, you know, until they cry out to source, please help me, which you are not their source. We are not each other's source. We are a resource. So source told them before source told you, you're a resource. So you reiterating that, hey, if I can come out of a wilderness, wilderness situation, so can you. Some of you all have seen that in your, since we were talking about the number two right here, we're talking about the scales and your work, you're committed to a healthy work-life balance. Some of you all have told some of your colleagues, hey, if I can look for a new job, so can you. They are committed to feeling like, okay, this is the end of the road for me. They'll use everything, their age, their gender, their sexual preference. They'll use their, what they feel like is a disability for them. They use their age as a disability. They'll use their gender as a disability. They'll use other things as people don't like me. Oh, every, no matter how much you try to inspire, they'll, they'll blow the flame out. And then you have the people that like a bunch of friction. And so they have to be, they, they're used to the, the, the plug being snatched out of the wall for them. And they go in a fit of rage. So, oh, I didn't need them anyway because I know this about them when they were lost and this, all of this. Source is saying to you, in either case, you're committed to not going backwards, right? Because now you're inspiring yourselves to think about, okay, I got all these great ideas and I'm moving forward. So I see you moving towards booked and busy and not burdened at all, but other energies that you left behind. Because guess what happened when you did that? Your water evaporated. Guess what? Self-sabotage. You said something that could have been offensive to people or, you know, it's like, if I can do it, so can you. All of a sudden you hear nothing. It's crickets. Somebody, you said something, you don't know if you stepped on a, you're not walking on eggshells in other words. Right? So yeah. So here we have the ten of swords. So like I said before, good for you Aquarius for continuing to move forward and stay on the light side of the number. So the light side of the number eight is like I said, people have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior or they're egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. So, oh, they used to be lost and now that they, you know, they're clear about where they're going. Okay, they judging me. Nope, no, you're not. No, you are not at all. No, you're not at all. You're just moving forward. So, source is saying, when you see the emperor card, this symbolizes, this is the fourth card in tarot. It symbolizes getting serious about your ideas. Like get serious about it. Serious about partnerships and business and serious about partnerships and love, right? Get serious about it. Real serious about it, right? Now that you're in the light about some things, you're not going back. See, this person right here even has on a sweat headband, like a sweat band. See on their head right here? This person has gone through it. Blood, sweat, and tears trying to inspire and motivate people who don't want to be, they're not ready. That is very humbling for people who are over givers because it lets you know, it further reminds you, you are not people's source. You are a resource. So yeah, some people will go straight into defeat. I guess this is a job I need to stay on for life. My business isn't going to do well. They're going to tell people everything under the sun because you look better than them. You're smarter than them. You have more degrees than they do. You have, you were raised differently. They got every excuse under the sun and source is saying, but as, as, as much as, as compassionate as you are towards people who have gone through things, you too were at some point lost, didn't know your purpose. You too have had people prey on your perceived weaknesses, right? So I'm talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart, that you're not drying up your creativity anymore. There's a four of cups right here. Yeah, you, you're not drying up your water anymore. You're not drying up your joy. You're not sacrificing yourself. In other words, here we have the queen of um, the queen of swords. So now you made it to your throne and you're carefully vetting your thoughts, just kind of going back through your mind. And again, that portal is open. So I feel like you're already on the other side. It's not when you watch this video, it won't be April 8th, but I feel like you're already in your portal. You've already committed to this new you. And remember, this, the closer and closer we get to stepping through that new phase of life, it's a new moon. You're closing out 
the last quarter moon phase, the stronger the pull is to pull you back into chaos and confusion because people don't have no idea of like proper planning for themselves, right? And so you are not going back under any circumstances at all. You're not going back under any circumstances at all. So here we have the Magician card. Mercury is currently retrograde. I do have um, information about retrogrades on planetary retrogrades on my second channel. It's called the Knowledge Channel. Please go check it out. The more you empower yourself with education, and you can look at mine, you can, you can go Google it, whatever you want to do, but empower yourself with information. When you see Mercury, Mercury is not only the messenger planet, the messenger and communication planet. It's also the planet of knowledge and learning, factual memory, opinion, trade, travel, commerce, sibling relationships, all of that, right? So sources saying, what kind of messages do you send out to the universe if you go back into, if you don't enforce your own boundaries? It sends a message that you're not serious. You're giving in to people who are committed to is my way or the highway. And so they feel like they've won. And here you are again, feel like you lost. I'm staying connected to energies that, you know, they're connected to the dark side of the number two. They stay connected to people who drain them, burn them out, stress them out, tethered to that. And you're saying, I'm not going to be tethered to that. So, yeah. So, yeah. That keeps them in a state of fear, doubt, uncertainty, connected to narcissism or narcissistic relationships and those kind of things. So, yeah. So, yeah, you're definitely not going backwards to all of that. Here we also have, here we have the King of Swords here. So, yeah, so you're very wise and very knowledgeable, and you're teaching other people on how to sit on their throne, adjust their crown. They don't have to say anything negative about people, but to close out cycles in love. So you're on your throne of your emotions. You're just kind of running it back and just how you used to be when you landed on the dark side of those numbers. Dark side of the number 10, since 10 is the number for instant manifestation, I feel like somebody kept saying, oh, I'm such a good heart and people keep taking advantage of me. And guess what you kept attracting? People who kept taking advantage of you because that was the message that you were sending out to the universe. Message, Mercury. You kept sending that message out to the universe instead of saying, hey, I got powerful swords. I can I can leave that door closed of, in my universe, your mind, right? Here we also have the three of, here we have the three of wands, right? So people will continue to call you, like reach out to you in dreams through your spirit, because they don't want you to take a leap of faith forward. They don't want you to go on to a new job, Aquarius. They don't want you to be in new romantic relationships. They don't want you to be in new partnerships. They want you to save them. We don't have the power to save each other. That is very humbling for people who over nurture and over give. That's very humbling. You know, when, uh, and so, yeah, because people are pulling them back into wilderness situations or keeping them there. They feel stifled. Here we also have the, um, the, um, Neptune, right? Source is saying you may have think, you may have think, thought things are kind of suspended right now. Like you make a, you could feel like Aquarius that things are kind of sort of in pause mode, right? Sword energy is very traumatic. So somebody could have had, you know, like loss of loved ones in their family that could put things on pause for you, right? Fear of something happening to loved ones could put thing, put you on pause, right? Um, things or people you feel like, because again, uh, any feelings that now that you're on your throne, here we have the king of swords and you're wise enough to know that your words and your prayers for people that are still connected to you are just as powerful, Aquarius. You don't have to step down off of your throne anymore. You can pray for people. You can have conversations with people, right? Because there's a real pull for a lot of people to stay in a wilderness situation and be prayed upon, right? So like I said before, but you are moving forward. You're getting your rest. You're getting your rest. You're getting your rest, right? So you know, um, here you are on your throne, queen of pentacles, right? Somebody who is down to earth, quite relatable and those kind of things, incredibly smart. But again, you're not, um, you are, you are not on the dark side of the number four. It's their way or the highway. So the more people keep talking to you, giving you sob stories about their businesses, not doing well or that they can't um they can't leave a job where they feel like they're being preyed upon or their manager is talking down to them or mistreating them or whatever you're 
committed to landing on the light side of the number four and showing them better than you can tell them, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I'm not going to lose any rest over it. That's you. Right, so congratulations to you for landing on the bright side. Here we have the Eight of Cups. See this right here? You're tossing some things into a fire pit. Yep, so you've already moved on from the depth of disappointment, you know, Aquarius. And see how this person is recharging under the sunlight? Both of this is fire, right? So you toss some things into a burning bowl and you're recharging by fire, the sun, right? So you're getting some fresh air, some sun. You're near water, a lot of you all, Aquarius. And you're moving forward. So congratulations to you all for that. Aquarius, this is nice. This is really, really, really nice. Like I said before, you're teaching people that they don't have to step down off of their throne. Adjust their crown. Stand firm. Because it's a form of mind control. It's a form of mind control. Watch some of you all, you know, possibly this week, if you've been journaling, may have gotten some phone calls, text messages or whatever, because people are trying to pull you back into wilderness situations. Sometimes it comes across as a sob story. Sometimes it comes across as just utter defeat when they're not defeated. The same source that you tapped into from within, they have access to the same source. Right. So source is saying you may have, like I said before, you're when you close out cycles, you're learning how to close out cycles in love. Here we also have the eight of swords. Right. And so, um, again, you're showing them that it's a form of self-sabotage to go back into wilderness situations. It, it is a form of self-sabotage to go back into those situations. So it's two, like I said, two types of situations in particular. Here we have the lover's card. Again, this further lets me know a partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. And it could be two partnerships, you know, coming into your life. So source is saying, you are springing forward. This symbolizes the big change of seasons, right? You're springing forward, right? So you're learn to, learning how to flip the switch. Remember when the moon is in Gemini, Gemini is a very playful creature. We're not talking about any Geminis that you know, but Geminis are the, the symbol are the twins, right? So symbolizes good, evil, light, dark, seen, unseen, known, unknown, right? So source is saying, when you bring it into balance, this is balance, this is balance. Right, sources say you've gone from this connects us to Pisces, Neptune, and this connects us to Aries. When you've gone from the first sign to the last, I'm talking about these moon phases that the moon moves through each one of these zodiac signs, one one every one and a half to two and a half days. You've gone from Pisces, which is ruled by Neptune, right, dreaming bigger, right, to back to Aries, which we're coming up on a total solar eclipse and new moon in Aries, you're saying you're committed to springing forward. And it's two types of situations that you're allowing to rest in peace, right? That's the, again, you're teaching people how to pray for themselves. You're teaching people how to not go back into wilderness situations. And so, because you're not, and you're teaching people that it's game, that it would just be a complete nightmare for you. It would be a complete nightmare for them. You have no control over what people do with your advice. Here we have the king of swords again on your throne. Like I said before, you're teaching people that for some people, they're trying to get them and to see this black and white right here. They're trying to get their, throw their duality out of alignment. And some people, like I said, don't, you know, they see it that people are learning. But again, Aquarius, you can um, lead people to water, but you can't dunk their head and make them drink it. Right. You can't. Th so yes, something has been heavy on a lot of people's minds. Yes. Yeah, something has been really, really heavy on a lot of people's minds. So like I said before, you're letting some things rest in peace. You're letting some things rest in peace. Hmm. 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 Yes. Five of pentacles, right? So here we have the five of pentacles. We also have the ten of pentacles, right? We also have the seven of pentacles, Aquarius. We also have the king of pentacles, right? We also have the um, discipline card, right? So this is hangman twice, right? Discipline card. And then we also have the ace of wands, right? So yeah, so... I see you being booked and busy and not burdened. There are some people who are still at the five of wands. They want to reach out to you. They want to connect with you. They're hoping that you'll read their mind. Speaking of universe, they're hoping that you'll read their mind, figure it out. Some people will be a lot more bold. Can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? Can you do this? Can you do that? Right. But they also have to learn that, you know, and these are, these are some of your, um, these are some of your 
family members. These are some of your, some of your, I feel like somebody still has family members that's still going to family functions, even though they be, they, people keep giving them the cold shoulder. They're just, it's almost like a person. How can I even word this? Let me see. I feel like somebody has family members that still want to be connected to people who demonize you, Aquarius. That's what's going to, that's what's going to, family members could be work family. It could be blood relative family. It could be friendships. People who still demonize you, they want you to still keep pour, like breathing, like, like I said, and you really got to operate in complete and total humility to see it. Like you're, you, um, breathing air into an energy, like breathing life. You can't even give it any more air. Like it has to be completely out of your universe because as painful as it can be having a big heart and being an over giver to thought when you want to help people and they just want to be chosen. They don't, it's like that. You got to tell them directly these people that you're like, okay, let's say you have parents that still keep going around other messy family members. You got to come out and tell them, how do you even, how do you even make it make sense to keep going around these messy family members that keep talking about your own kids? You gave birth to these kids or you fathered these kids. Why do you, what's the, what help me understand the logic? <laughs> like where are the boundaries, right? The, some of you all's colleagues, they don't, they don't, they can't stand up for you and, and how you've been helping them. That's what I'm saying. You all are not even giving any more thought to it. I mean, for real, like some of your colleagues that you've been right there, like ride or die in the workplace for some of your colleagues, when they hear negative stuff about you, Aquarius, because they like sitting there, they're not serious about, they, they don't know what, I don't even, I don't know if they don't know what their purpose is or what the heck is going on. They sit there and listen to negativity about you and they won't ever stand up and say, but that's not my experience with Aquarius. Source is saying to you, you have completely left that clown behavior behind the circus, the distraction, the whole nine yards. Some of your friends won't stand up for you. Like I said, you are totally not pick me. You're not at you. Listen, don't please don't pick me. Right. Especially when it's, when it's, when people are like trying to, I got to find a reason to justify my head and heart towards Aquarius because I'm hearing other things because I'm connected to such as I'm connected to this organization, whatever an organization is, a job, a church, a mosque, a temple, uh, any kind of an organization. Y'all know what an organization is. If you don't know, look it up in a dictionary, but source is saying to you, when people want to be chosen and they want to be picked, they're looking for you to say something that cuts so deep like a sword that now they're either in further confusion. Why did you have to say that to me? That's why I'm saying to you all, Aquarius, when you close out cycles in love, you don't have to be get into a sword fight with people where you say something like, you don't see this? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you're, you may have in the past, like I said, that's a form of self-sabotage, but you're not going to do that because you know when people, how important it is, you know, when people, when you're talking, you used to be a, you're a reformed over giver. That's why you're not going to say it, right? So again, I definitely see you planting some seeds and I definitely see you growing those seeds. And again, some people are going to have to learn. Some people are just going to have to learn, right? And we have the King of Pentacles. And guess what? That same sword fight. If people are willing to sit around and listen to harsh gossip about you, you know, Aquarius, when they're headed and harder at war with each other, whether you are dating them, was married to them, friendships with them, blood relatives or not, that is not, that is, you're not stepping down off of your throne. If that makes any sense. If that, if that makes any sense. Because it's a total lack of respect of, like I said, you're, you're not, you're not, um, what's the word? I'm hold on. I'm trying to find the other cards. You're not, um, hold on, looking, looking, looking. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're not going to, um, you're not overstepping you 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 create boundaries and you're like I said you're very serious about adding structure you're very serious about moving forward you know that you have a good heart you know that you love people deep you love people hard you know that you're a very compassionate person that's why I said you toss some things into a burning bowl because it it throws people who are really really hurt that they're overgivers 
and they're not ready to change that. I want to be chosen. I want to be selected. If you have to come right out and see things that they don't want to see because they just want to be a part of something, even when they're being given the cold shoulder, some of your loved ones, they're not invited to stuff unless it's they like, they the last, they're not even the first choice on the list, but they keep going back around certain because they just want to, they want to be a part of the, the conference call. They want to be on a big text message. People showing them that they're not even on like the main list. So they're being, con they're being, con I, some of your colleagues at work, you know, people only use them to, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of your colleagues at work, people don't even respect them and unless they're somehow trying to drag you back into a, that's what, that's what we started out with the nine and one. They're trying to drag you back into a wilderness situation. So like I said before. You're not sabotaging yourself because you already know you, you recognize game. You recognize game, Aquarius. So, and you're not interested in playing it. You're not interested in playing the game. So, like I said, some people are at five of, um, some people are really at a pivotal point in their lives where they could, at that pivotal point, they may have to go through the feelings of feeling alone and, you know, everybody walked away from me. But when you get to that place where you love yourself so much, you would rather protect your peace. If that means your phone isn't ringing, the text messages aren't coming through like that. You're not invited to stuff just to protect this. There's no, you can't put a price on peace. You just cannot. There's no, you are multi-billionaire in peace. That's where you are, but you, cause you already recognize game. You already recognize game that you're, you've been at the 10 of swords and some people have to go through the 10 of swords and you're going to have to operate in faith and say, okay, they're going to have to talk themselves out of that. They're going to have to talk themselves out of it. So that's what I'm saying. You'd be surprised at how hard it is for people to get. And the reason why you have compassion is because it used to be you, Aquarius. It used to be you. Let's, let's just call it for what it is. It used to be you. You didn't recognize the game that was being played. So you had to march from one to 10 of swords. You had to go from one to nine of swords to make it to 10 of swords and then make a decision. Am I going to keep lying down like this, sad, depressed, feeling hopeless, or am I going to dust myself up and get up, snatch these swords out of me and get up and use them same swords to cut them people off. So yeah, you're not, you're not judging it. You're not harshly judging anybody. You're just moving on to partnerships and business and partnerships and love. So congratulations to you. ka -ching. Like I said, this King of, this King of Pentacles, that's why I keep telling people it's never just about money. If you just make it about money and being connected to people who have money, it, that can be miserable. That's how some people hate money. The energy of money, hate it. Here we have five of pentacles, the sun card. We have the wheel of fortune, the strength card, the hangman, and then also the hermit card. You have any issues with people who have money? You know, that's, you deliver from that. You don't have a problem with the the energy of money and who has money. You wish that they get more money if that's what their goal is. But also as a humanitarian, it's what you do with the wealth that you have, right? Are you using that wealth to create programs and jobs and opportunities for other people? So here you are, somebody's in hermit mode right now, you know, just kind of sort of thinking about just the next steps. These two cards right here are rolled by this planet. So let's put this together. Let's put our hands together. All right. So yeah, so Virgo and Gemini are ruled by mercury the commit the the um the magician card right so that's where your power is is saying that you don't you're already on the inside of your vault you don't want to be if it involves giving people the cold shoulder and harshly judging people for you know being able to stand alone and still um you know like i said being able to still that's what source is saying you know you're learning how to discipline yourselves and not just, um, you're choosing the light side, right? So just here we have the wheel of fortune. So somebody's definitely going to feel very fortunate. These two cards right here, um, rule Pisces, right? So, which would be the moon card. So you've learned how to believe in yourself through a lot of games, a lot of playing, you know, people playing games, trying to play you. It's like for them, it's black or white. You're not looking to be initiated or brought into certain things. Aquarius here, we also have the, um, hangman coming out three times so source is saying it's a lot of energies that you're teaching people that while you're in waiting mode for whatever it is partnership and business partnership and love that they are good enough that they are worthy that's what it really boils down to 
if you're still breathing, your chest is rising and falling. And God was the one that breathed air into your lungs and, and God of everything, universe, just source, period, right? Source is saying to you, you're also helping people to recognize that they can tap into their own strength, right? Their vulnerability is their strength. It is okay to say, okay, I wasn't smart enough to know X, Y, and Z. Some people feel like they got to have, I got to show everybody how smart I am. Even though you all are the I know sign, don't come across as a I know it all. There's something you can always learn. So sources say, I'm teaching you how to sharpen your sword of knowledge and power and not to abuse your knowledge and power. Yeah, so source is saying your vulnerability is your strength. Some people will laugh at you, Aquarius, as being the smartest sign. If you say, well, okay, I don't know what that word means. Can you use it in a particular context? I had no idea that this meant that. What does that sign or symbol mean? We're here to help each other, not hurt people. Some people will use their wisdom and knowledge as always like, I know more than you do. So therefore, okay, um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to hurt you, right? So here we have the five of pentacles. So you, you are helping people to detach from those energies where they feel like, okay, they can't create their own legacy, you know, on their own and, you know, building their legacy on their own. So like I said, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path because here's the, here's it at the highest frequency Aquarius. When I look at your cars, it's super new you. And this is why you stand in firm on your throne of your thinking as a very wise person, helping other people to get to theirs and recognize what game looks like is, um, guess what? You right now, Aquarius, are where their ancestors used to be in that pioneer stage. You are the first one to do whatever it is that you're doing, even though everybody in your family is going to be the first one to do something. Everybody in everybody's family is the first one to do something, right? Even people who feel like, okay, they don't have any worth and value on this planet. You know that they do. They're still breathing. They have purpose too, right? In all humility, every everything on this planet serves a purpose, Right. But you're also teaching people that if they go back into wilderness situations, it could be a complete and total nightmare for them. You're helping people to open up their, like to really see things through that third eye, that lens, right? So yeah, that's where you are, Aquarius. So yeah, there's no harsh judgment of anybody. You're just helping people, like motivating people. And that's, that's part of the game. People play, oh, you judging me? You harshly, you know, I mean, I, you were once me. Yep, you were once them. So that's why I saw send people across your path. You were definitely once them. So, but I feel like there's some energies that want the sun, moon, and, and star. You're teaching people that just on a basic level, that when people don't support you like you support them, that... And we're talking about loved ones. We're talking about friends. People, we're not just talking about like just random strangers because sometimes you're not going to know who to support and who not to support. Like you're not going to like everybody's posts. You don't know everybody, this kind of thing. But we're talking about people that you've allowed to get close to your heart. So I don't want you to even mix that up because people are like, oh, they don't support me and I support them. Okay, forget that. I'm unsubscribing. I'm just cutting them off. We're talking about loved ones. You're teaching people how to not be a pick me. If your family members are still going around or your colleagues that have become like friends or you all are like a friendship family situation into, oh, well, you know how some jobs are. Oh, we family. We this and that until a promotion where somebody comes up now and everybody cutthroat pulling out the swords. Where's the family? That's how you teach your family? Wow. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So um, that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. That's what I'm seeing for you all. So. You're just so you're taking a leap of faith. So you're not falling backwards. You're taking a leap, right? So this fire right here. So somebody's like, okay, I'm inspired to take a leap of faith moving forward. Some energies secretly have a crush on you. And so you have a whole new attitude. Here we have you inspire people to heal. And you're continuing to inspire people to heal, to help them to open up their third eye. You're protected by angels. You don't have anything to worry about. Somebody wants the best for you. And so somebody apologizes for betraying you, whoever the she is, that's between them and their karma. Here we also have the um, things are flowing to you like water and some energies haven't been completely honest with you. And that's OK. That's between them and the karma they create for themselves. You have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning. Right. And so, you know, ahead of time what that looks like and how that ends out. When people keep going, when they don't create boundaries because they're not serious about their purpose on this planet. So you have the sun. So that's your sun sign. In order for a total solar eclipse to occur, 
first of all, put your glasses on if you're going to be watching, a, you know, trying to watch your sunglasses on so you can protect yourself, protect your eyes. But in order for a total solar eclipse to happen within, because everything outside of us is inside of us, your sun, moon, and earth need to be aligned, right? So your physical body, that's what I'm saying. You recognize the game because your physical body have been in places where your head and heart have been at war with each other. You kept giving to energies that were cutting you with like a sword, a deep cut, kept traumatizing you over. So you get it, right? Your physical body, that's your earth. Your son, your purpose, your creative life force. Why am I here on planet earth, right? To become a better human being. So I need to sharpen my knowledge so that I can meet people where they are and just connecting with them in just a very relatable way. Like I said, you're down to earth. You're relatable. You already know what it feels like to want to be a part of something where people give you the cold shoulder. You got somebody who comes to you like they're praying for you, but they're coming under, they're coming under the guise of prayer, right? Because they are connected to energies that are preying on you. They're connected to organizations that are preying on you. So they come under the guise of prayer. I'll protect you. I'm praying for you. You already recognize the game, right? And you already recognize part of it is people wanting to be connected to your very rich legacy, Aquarius. And so that's why I say there's a lot of people outside of your vault door, right? You're living your best life, assuming the worst about you. Okay, let's see if we can get to Aquarius. Let's see if we give Aquarius a cold shoulder. If they're going to want to, you know, if they're going to, their head and heart still going to be at war with each other. Please pick me. I'm so hurt. I, my heart is in the right place. Boom. Got you. So it's just saying, I already picked you. So why are you looking to be picked by somebody else? Who is going to keep hurting you, right? So that's what you're teaching people in love. So you're taking a leap of faith and a, not a um, leap in fear. You're not scared and running, you know, like a leap in fear. I'm, I'm like a leapfrog. So I'm leaping in fear because somebody's just set, set a match or a blowtorch under my feet. So now I'm like, I'm like hot potato. <laughs> So source is saying to you, you know, you're definitely planting seeds and you're letting, you know, like I said, some people just need a listening ear and not to feel like they're being judged, Aquarius. So again, you can't come across as a, I know it all. You're still learning how to sharpen your source, but don't fall for the okie doke. Oh, you judge me. And you know, that's why I gave you the cold shoulder. No, they could say, like I said before, mm -mm. you already know the game. You already know the game. You know, what's up? You know what's up, Aquarius. So yeah, like I said, three situations in particular, three types of situations in particular. Like I said, it's a win-win forecast for you. That's right. It's a win-win for you. That's right. Forecast, four, foreknowledge, forewarning, four, you know, like premonition, precognition, foreknowledge, forewarning, forecast, right? There's energies that don't want you to, they want you to be a part of their cast. They want you to be a part of their cast, Aquarius, right? They want you to be a part of their cast, but again, it's their way or the highway, right? Right? So they want you to be a part of their cast, right? Um, and so for you, you're already in your vault door. Yeah. They want to, they want you to be a part of, you know, certain things. And so, um, and we know that, you know, um, it's a, it's a fixed social group. Um, like this, like a, like a pyramid. We want you to be a part of it because we know you're incredibly smart, but it has to be by our rules like that's what i'm saying somebody has learned in your own family that there's certain family members will invite you but what is your payment do you have some juicy news or you got some juicy gossip about aquarius we're just using you for example aquarius since this is your reading we'll invite you to some things if there you got some juicy news about aquarius right if you don't have any juicy news about aquarius that could you know cause us to hurt aquarius we know aquarius is very smart you know, it's, it's like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a process that people, like I said, we, we want you to be a part of X, Y, and Z. And how can you move up in that system? You know, the upward mobility without stepping on people's toes. If you all already noticed, like in your, um, 
you um what are you willing to sacrifice to move up in the ranks? What are you willing to sacrifice? So the key entry is, okay, what's the code to knock on a door? What's the entry? What's the entry way? Do you have some dirt on some, do you have dirt on Aquarius? How can we use that dirt, you know, on Aquarius? We may toss you some crumbs. That gets you in the vestibule. That gets you right there in the lobby area, that little area. But you're now, you don't have total entry. But what else are you willing to sacrifice in order to get to this? Because people know that you're already here, Aquarius, right? So like I said, you already rec you already know what the game is. Um, and um, But they don't know what you're a part of. So that people want to know. And so, but you're not telling them and you won't. Let's see what else we got going on here. What else we have going on? So happy being inside your vault door, Aquarius. Happy being inside your vault door. So some energies definitely apologize for betraying you. But like I said, some of you all, you look at some of your own family members. Like how do you let people talk negatively about you when your heart is in the right place towards them? So that's why I said I, I don't see you all going back. Here you go, rite of passage. You're moving through things, right? Your ancestors are showing you a lot of things. Your ancestors are showing you a lot of things, Aquarius. So you're not interested in being a part of someone's cast, right? Um, you're not a part of that. You're not. You're not interested in being a part of that. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, some kind of ceremonial event, you know, um, some part of some society. A lot of you all are already a part of societies. Uh, when I, when I, like I said, people want to know what your, what is the password to get into such and such, and you're already in. Like so, again, you, like I said before. You're moving through a rite of passage with your ancestors. Your ancestors, God is the one that's breathing life into your lungs. God is the one that's saying, hey, you're here on your throne. I get, you worked very hard to get through, you know, to your throne, Aquarius. So like I said before, you don't have time for You already recognize game. You already recognize game. So, all right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we got. Let's see. What else? Okay. Yeah, y'all out here doing it, Aquarius. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Yes, planting seeds. It's a lot going on in your cars, Aquarius. Mm -mm. Like I said, you operating in complete and total humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help. That's the divine God most high. I, do, I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. That's right. That's how you who you bowing down to source within you so yeah there's some energies that like i said want you to be a part of some things and that's good and like i said in all humility just because people come sideways they don't even come up the they don't even come up front street so it's just like you're not interested in that here we have um i am devoted to a clear mind so affirmations for focus i am devoted to a clear mind i take action toward my highest goals dailies i am con daily excuse me i <laughs> said dailies <laughs> well we could add an x to, i mean an s to it right I am confident in my abilities. I release distraction. I get the important things done. I am organized. I am in control of my thoughts. That's right. I'm in control of my thoughts, right? You're in control of your universe. You're not interested in mind control. You already know what that looks like. You tell somebody something enough times over and over and over again, they start to believe it, especially if they feel like there is, there's no way out. There's no way out of that, right? So... Yeah, let's see what else we got going on. And we're going to go ahead and we got a number. So yeah, let's go ahead and close this out. So that focus, locked in and laser focus. Focus, 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 focus. Not on the hocus pocus, <laughs> but on the focus, focus. Where you going, Aquarius? Where you going? That's right. You know your value and you add, just added tax. You add zero, zero to it. That's right. I am observant. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes and listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust and believe, but trust your intuition. Follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. 
meditation and prayer should go together like peanut butter and jelly. If those of you all, you know, not trying to trigger anybody with peanut butter allergies or anything like that or, or nut allergies. So just kind of a play on words. Focus, 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 prayer and meditation, not just prayer because you'll miss it. When you first wake up, it, it, so you sit in there and you're, you're lying in bed and sources downloading information into you. You're in meditative state. When you're standing at your sink and you kind of zone off into wherever land you go to, you're in a meditative state. It's not always in a, a lotus position, Aquarius. Sources sharing with you just downloads and how you may have been under mind control. There are still some of your family members that are under complete and total mind control. They want to be a part of some things so bad that they'll keep going back to um, family functions when people are being slick and sly and saying something and, you know, hurting them right in their face. They're talking about their kids. They're talking about their choices. They're talking about what their house looks like. They're talking about where they live, the neighborhood. They're talking about all kinds just to be a part of something. You are not interested so that's what I have for you all, Aquarius. Um, like I said before, the moon, I believe, is in Pisces. So you don't even have to be, when the moon is in Pisces, it, it can cause you to be emotional to a point where you can't even articulate your emotions. Like you can just feel like it's all overwhelmed. But I don't feel like you all are overwhelmed at all. I don't feel like you're overwhelmed at all. Matter of fact, you'll know you landed on the light side of the moon in Pisces if you feel more compassionate towards energies because you already know what the game is. Uh, to compassionate towards yourself and other people. You feel more sensitive to what they're going to. You feel more loving, more creative, more loyal to your purpose, right? We, we know that the, the sun illuminates the moon. That's your sun sign. Your moon sign is how you nurture yourself. So you already know how to nurture yourself. And so you're teaching other people how to nurture themselves when they're overthinking things to a point of just burnout and confusion, right? So it is complete and total compassion towards yourself and towards other people because you've been there versus the dark side of the moon, which indecisiveness, discontented, vague, secret, easily, uh, you know, secretive, easily confused, right? So for my air signs, as we close this out, a moon in Pisces, um, Combined with your keen powers of communication, it endows you with clairvoyant ability and a gift for touching the emotions of others. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. Like I said before, this is the first sign in the zodiac. So we're moving through on April 8th. We'll feel, we'll really feel the effects of the new moon and the total solar eclipse, which is a total reset in Aries. So you're saying... Airy, for I'm telling you, a lot of you all, even though we had the um, spring equinox, it's going to feel like a double spring equinox, like a, a spring equinox on steroids. That's what it's going to feel like for somebody like, okay, yeah, you springing forward in a very positive, very feeling more powerful, putting all of your energy and your purpose, you're inspiring and motivating people, you know, Aquarius. So that's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.